In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your Dying Light 2 look more beautiful. So, let's don't talk around it. Let's hop into the video. Alright, so here we are. So, first step for it is we need a pro program. It's called Reshade. So, everything we're gonna do to make Dying Light 2 better looking, we need Reshade. The link is gonna be down in the description. So, what we're gonna do now is basically click download and download the latest version so after that what you want to do is you're gonna basically open reshade up and click here to select the game so you want to select the game and if it instantly show up the game you got just gonna click dying light 2 dying light game x64 led exit if it's not showing up for you, you want to click on Browse and basically go under if it's D or C. In my case, it's C, but mostly of you all, it's going to be on D. So Steam Apps, Common, and then if you're on Common, it should be Dying Light 2. So what you're going to do is click on Dying Light 2, PH, Walk, Bin, 6, X64, and then Dying Light 2 Game. 64. I'm gonna select that. And then you're gonna choose Direct X3 uh, to 12. Volt. After that, this should show up. What are you gonna do here? Uncheck all, click again, check all, and click OK. It's gonna download everything you need. And after that, you can launch Danglet 2. Alright, guys, we're in game now. So. If you install it correctly, you would see on the top right corner, just on top of your screen, you will see like uh, reshade uh, installed successfully. Uh, after that, you will press on your keyboard, post one, then a me menu will open up, right? So, for you guys, it's probably gonna say uh, a tutorial. But you're gonna skip the tutorial. There should be a button over here to skip it, or I think it's down here to skip the tutorial. So, to make the game look better, we need two things. The first one is Vibrance, and the second one is cur uh, Curse. As you know, Vibrance makes the game more vibrant, uh, more alive, anything like that. And the second thing is Curse. So, what the Curse does. This actually makes interior look better, more darker, make the shadows look more darker. Um, it just looks overall better than natural dying light, in my opinion. So we're gonna turn on Vibrance. So you're gonna search up Vibrance, right? Gonna turn it on. You can adjust down here how much it actually shows. For me, I'm gonna bump it up. As you like, you can do it in the middle or something like that. But I'm gonna bump it up this video. Second thing. Curse. Activate it. As you can see, it went dark mode in front of us. The difference? Before, after. Before, after. You can play with, uh, around with it as well. But I would by default okay let's walk around real quick you can see like the bloom which comes through it's not intense anymore so if you're gonna compare it interior you see it's more the bloom really shines through the sun really shines through and the room is hella bright if you're gonna activate it just darker you can see it just more darker looks more cool and that's basically it and in my opinion it makes dying light look more beautiful it just it's overall better because like the dying light to interior in my opinion it's not really good um it's really bright i mean i got my brightness uh, on default but with that it's it looks, it looks more realistic. Um, 
and that's pretty much it um yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching the video maybe do a thumbs up subscribe it will really help me out and we will see you in the next video goodbye